Isaiah 9, King James Version. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Verse 7. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Lord sent the word into Jacob and it hath lighted upon Israel. Acts 2 King James Version verse 29 Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us until this day. Verse 30. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. This is why I ask, are we reading the same Bible? What comes out of a man's loins? Seed that become children if they're not aborted, according to the flesh, meaning this is by blood and none of that spiritual Israel crap. This is speaking about a black man, a Negro man. Blood matters. If you don't confess that Christ came in the flesh, or if you one of those it doesn't matter type people your mindset slash way of thinking is the antichrist yeah and you got to be careful because you do got people that sit up and will really be trying to be like oh we still waiting on christ to come and this is all a side note by the way but people are just and one thing that like, one thing that uh, really bothered me, one thing that really bothered me was I could never understand like, how can you like when it was, when I was dealing with my family and I was trying to tell them like different stuff about the Bible, <clears throat> they couldn't get past me. You know, they couldn't get past me. They couldn't get past the messenger. You know, I was like. Um, I, well, I was about to say right message, you know, wrong messenger, but they didn't even like the message, you know, they could not see themselves as these people, as these great people. They could like, that is how defeated some of our people is. Like, I, I remember having conversations with my dad about, you know, this. You know, and I'm a Gentile, I'm a Gentile, you know? And he would just be so adamant, like he just knew, you know? And it's just like, dude, you're so ignorant, man. Like, chill, you know? Like, let's look at the facts, you know? But you can't tell people something if they don't, you know, especially if they don't want to, if they don't, if somebody don't want to believe something, you could put one plus one equals two in somebody's face. If they don't like you or they don't want to believe it because it's coming from you, they, they just won't. That's that's how petty some of our people are. That's how I know we this the children of Israel in the Bible was just like that. That's how I know it's us. All these negative stuff, I told y'all, I was laying on my granny couch. When it hit me, I was really, I was really reading the Bible word for word, really without the church influence, just reading it. I started in Genesis. I started noticing stuff in Exodus, and by the time, like we got to like Deuteronomy and Leviticus. I'm like, this is our people, especially during the Exodus. That's what made me know it. It's like, y'all, y'all seen the greatness. 
You've seen the greatness. You've seen the pillars of smoke. You saw the firstborn children being taken out. Even the cattle got it. You've seen this. You saw the ground open up and swallow these people. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I had a few people, you know, just open up the ground and just swallow them up. Just swallow them. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> no, but, I mean, y'all seen the greatness. Y'all seen the pillar. Y'all seen the, the, you know, uh, the Dead Sea being split, you know, being parted. Y'all seen all of this. How are you still complaining? How? And that's 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 my people today. You can give you can give a ninja twenty dollars. You can give a ninja twenty dollars. You can give a ninja two hundred and fifty four dollars, and he'll turn around and talk about you like a dog. It's crazy. Knife you in the back. You can be nice, you can be genuine to our people, but it, that's how I know that this is us. And I'm sorry that I'm getting off topic, but that's how I know that this is us. I knew it was us. The backbiting, the jealousy, the standing on the sidelines, who he think he is, you know? That's what I got from when I would, uh, you know, when um, the most high term uh, Moses and Aaron's sister White. Yeah, that's what I got from that. That's our folks. To this day, we still do that to each other. It don't matter what, what yeah, LGBTQ, hetero, whatever. It don't matter. That is how our people treat each other. You got one, uh, you got one man, he got a uh, radio show, right? You see him going off on one of the dudes because, um, he got into a fight on the show. He beat up. He beat up a comedian. You know, he going off on a dude, telling him he shouldn't act all like that. Then now he, uh, now he's um, clowning another podcast. Keep calling the man. Uh, keep questioning the sexuality and stuff. And it's just like, so what? What? What is it, brother? What is? What is? You don't want. You don't want us to act like lions. And, and we can't be, and we can't be classy. We can't be sophisticated. We can, I mean, what do you want? What do you want? It's that spirit, though. Never satisfied. Never satisfied. You can't satisfy no Negroes. Mm -mm. Nope. Can't never satisfy. Mm -mm. So, that's how I knew that we are these people we still act like them we still act like them can't be told nothing want to be everybody else but accept who we are and who we are is greatness like I said I believe in you know black you know natives and like I said I believe in black natives the Olmecs and you know, with the big lips and the big nose. Yes, I, I mean, I believe that too. I believe we are native. But to my people that believe that, baby, I'm telling you, as you keep tracing it back, you're going to find out that we was Israel. We are Israel. The real children of Israel. And these people know it too. They've studied us. They've done whole experiments on us, bro whole experiments they do more experiments on us than they do their own people because they know who we are they know who we are they've been doing and they they it's like they do stuff and they just add on to it you know they want to keep division so now they come up with race now they come up with ethnicity and all this stuff it's all just a, an attempt to keep us divided it's it's crazy, man. I some I really when I was in Toledo, um, when I first started getting into the truth. I just I would sit there and be dumbfounded. Like, how can y'all not see this? Like, how can you not see it? 
like are you dumb like that's why if some people thought that I got so like if I got mean you know it's because it's just like I'm just sitting here just looking like are we reading the same Bible oh and then so then it left me with the point where oh y'all don't care y'all don't care you don't care you 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 want to do this uh to be validated you want to do this just just to be um you know seen as important or something like that you don't care i mean people would sit up and really go back and forth with me will really argue me down about this bible and it's like well you read this bible every day or that's what you say you the one saying you read this Bible every day, so how don't you know this? How how, how don't you know it? How, how how don't you come across this? But you say you read this Bible every day. It's a shame, man. People do not know what I have been through in regards to the truth. You know, and um, trying to tell my family about the truth, you know, and it's just like they already hated me, so it's just like they just, you know, they wanted to hate this too, you know. But it's like it's to your own detriment, though, Dodo Bird. It's to your, to your own detriment because see, that's why these pastors and these bishops are getting outed because the Most High don't work like that. He always trying to, he always trying to test. And I'm just being honest. I'm my own life, but, but he always trying to test you. It's always, it's a test going to be involved. He want to see what you going to do. He's sitting up on the throne. He's just sitting there watching. So he want to see what you going to do. That's why he always doing stuff like with Abraham, like with, um, you know, with Abraham. Make that man about to kill his son. You want to see what you're going to do. Is you going to really do it? And, and we like this. We are like this. We are like this today. I just went through a situation. I knew what to do. I knew what the people was trying to do to me. I just I, I went along with it just to see how far they was going to take it. And like, oh, y'all crazy people. Really? Y'all really want to do this? Okay. Let me walk away. You know, but we still do this to this day. I mean, but it's it's gonna be a test. Do you think? You know, you everybody waiting on this big personality. This, you know, like the uh, like the mega pastors, but it's not. It's not. You don't work like that. The person you at least expect. That's who we gonna see. Who you least expect. He might just send somebody you, you know, you got a grudge with and it's, but is you going to listen? Are you going to listen? Are you going to take heed? Are you able to get past this and listen? Because, I mean, I don't, I ain't really asking for nobody's support. I ain't asking you for no money. I mean, I ain't denying, I ain't denying no money either. You know, I'm, <laughs> I ain't denying no donation. I'm just saying. But I'm not asking for anything because I work. I work. I I learned that from the men in my family. Not to. That's one thing I can say about my grandfather, my uncle, and my dad. Never got to worry about them like taking from the church, you know, because they've all they've all had jobs where they made they they made their money, you know, outside of they don't you know need the church money for nothing so I'm the same way I don't need you know I have my own and what I don't have I take all my licks I go without I ain't sitting up begging so I hope I didn't use any profanity but I, I'm really trying to work like when I talk when I talk um and don't get like okay so I'm filming this now but I know you saw that last chapter that was my chapter 
That was me. You know, in my day to day, do I use profanity? Mm-hmm. I can be very vulgar, very vulgar. I'm not as bad as I used to be. I'm just being honest. I'm I'm very open, vulnerable. I'm very, I'm very transparent. I ain't got nothing to hide. For what? I ain't got. I mean, what what do I what do I have to lose? You know, I don't. Um, there's nothing to hide. You know, so I'm very honest. I'm very open, and I'm very direct, very blunt too. Um. So. You know, um, but I'm also respectful. I'm, I'm also respectful, very respectful. People that know me for real, like people that know me, they know that I'm a very respectful person. I, I'm, I always have a smile on my face. I always try to see the good. And um, in any situation that I, even if I do get knocked down, I always get back up. All praises to the most high. You know, I, I'm, I keep going. There's been times where I wanted to give up, y'all. You know, this ain't easy. Trying to work a job, manage a household by myself, and do this. It's not easy. It's not. And um, there's been times where I wanted to give up. I already know, you know, what people going to, you know, try to mock me and stuff like that. And But I'm good. I, I you know. I don't know. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that because it's like, you know, I I have dealt with that all my life. People have, uh, and I'm not a victim, but I'm just letting it be known. Like, people have always tried to put me down. People have always tried to, like, make me feel less than. People have always tried to make me be out in the cold. Or people have, all, like I said it before, people have always tried to make me know it. You know, they always try to put me in my place. And, uh, so I'm used to it, you know, so I already expect it, you know, but what they don't expect is, uh, when I come back at them, that's what they don't expect. See, everybody ain't the same. And I'm going to just leave it at that. Everybody ain't the same. <clears throat> now that I know myself and, um, I, I can recognize patterns. I tell people. People, a lot of people don't believe me anyway. But I, I don't care because when I tell you, when I tell you, and you don't believe me, and it happens anyway, I don't feel bad because I told you. You just you was the one that didn't believe me. So if. You know, you think you won't come down or like bully me or anything like that, and I have to let you have it, then you know, hey, I told you, I appear nice, I appear sweet, and I can be. That's what I lead with. I lead with love, I lead with support. But I got another side to me, baby. I got a whole another side to me. And you probably rather go to hell. I'm just, I'm just being honest. <laughs> you probably rather go to hell and deal with that man downstairs. So, I just like to be respectful. I just like to be nice. You know, I don't be trying to. I'm not no tough guy. I ain't looking for no confrontation. I'm past all that. I'm past all that. I remember I was watching this one um, YouTube broadcaster and I remember how he was saying why he didn't go on to the bingo app is because he did all of that. He did all of that on Facebook with, you know, with the girls. He, he battled with all of them and he knew going to that platform it's just going to be the same thing. Same thing for me just in the Hebrew community. A lot of people don't really know, cause I, I mean, I had another page and I had no pictures of myself on the page, but I was in them comments, slicing, dicing, slicing, like I had a machete coming through the jungle. I've been doing this since 2014. I can show y'all comments, posts, different. My Facebook page is not deleted. It's just deactivated. But I was in many, many, many Hebrew groups. Many Hebrew groups. 
saw many debates. Still waiting for uh, Umar to go back to finish his debate with GOCC. Still waiting, and that's why I say I am, and I'm not. I'm so I'm I'm past all of that. Um, that's why I'm not debating. Even if like if this comes out and this goes viral and people be wanting to have me on a platform, it's only a certain few that I, who I will who I would talk to because I feel like I owe that to them. I owe it to them. I have to. So, it's only a few. But even then, it's like I'm not. Um, I'm not like you know. I'm not no. I'm not no pushover, man. Like I'm not going to bow down and bend to some. You know, I'm my own self. I stand because of the Most High. I'm able to stand on my own two feet. You know, as a man. I pay all my own bills. I I manage this. So definitely a masculine energy. <laughs> Cause uh I take action. I I make stuff happen. I get stuff done. And um that's just who I am. That's the type of uh blood that runs through my veins. I'm not just a, a lazy person that's just gonna lay down and just you know, wait for something to come. And so, um, I've always worked. Ever since I was a child, I worked. You know, um, even when my cousin, I remember my cousins, they them all being 16 and I'm young, but I'm still up, you know, at the, at the, uh, summer job. You know, my grandfather had started the kitchen. You know, I'm sorry, y'all seen all of that. But I remember they had this program called Pick, and all the older kids they would be working. But I, I was too young to do it, you know. But I would still be up there, you know. But so I've always worked. I've always, you know, had side hustles. I've always been a go getter. Um, you know, that's just who I am. Always been a loner too. You know, I've always been a loner. I don't have. I know people. You know, I know of people. You know, but um. I ain't, I ain't never really been the type to have a lot of friends. I don't keep a lot of people around me. I ain't never really been that type. I've always been more comfortable doing my own thing. Oh, and then something that I wanted to say, because I know a lot of people won't give me flack about the zodiac signs and stuff like that. But if you also notice, um, people who want to give me flack about the zodiac signs, if you notice, I didn't use anybody's name. I had to, I had to, you know, would, would, would have been better if I gave them numbers. Like, well, here's number one. <laughs> okay. Like, I had to, you know what I'm saying? And the community, the community that I was speaking about, they're going to know these people by their zodiac signs. So... I remember reading something where it, um, it's like to gain people, you have to become people or you have to, you know, you have to um, get on their level, you know. And so that's why I like Christ, because it's like I could see him like, yes, he's Christ, he's royal, you know, and but he's still sitting with the. You know, he's still sitting with the um, sinners. You know, well, we all sinners, you know, under him. You know, but I'm just saying he's still, he sat with the people that the Pharisees and the scribes and all the lawyers and stuff, they would turn their nose up. He sat with them. It's just like if you go into a soup kitchen or something like that, you know, a billionaire or a millionaire, you know, you have some that would not sit next to a homeless person or sit next to you. I'm sure some of y'all out there know this. But then you have some who you wouldn't even know they a billionaire because they ain't dressed like no billionaire. <clears throat> you know, they got on regular clothes, regular shoes, and they sitting there. Not only are they sitting there next to the poor person, they also conversating with them. I believe that's that's how Christ was. That's how I want to be. I don't think I'm better than nobody. I've never thought that. I'm I'm peaceful. I've always tried to help people. 
Because that is what I was taught. But it's a shame that people will lie on you for clout. Just to just try to take advantage of you. And then try to make fun of you because you are a good hearted person. You are a genuine person. You show pure support. How do you ask for pure support and then make fun of somebody for supporting you purely? That's crazy. That's how you know there is a level of mental illness. I said, in order to be on that bingo app, you got to have some level of mental illness. You got to. Because these people sit up and talk about each other's grandparents. They talk about, I mean... And all of that's fine, you know, whatever. Hey, I love a good round or two, whatever. You know, but I'm not about to be in your face the next day. Mm -mm. And depending on what you say, you better watch out. I'm just saying. Because <laughs> it ain't going to be over. I'm just saying. So, hey, the most high is still working on me. The most high is still working on me. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I had to I had to use the zodiac signs because the people who that's for, they're gonna know that it's them. So I didn't you know, I didn't say anybody's name and to wrap all of this up, um, you know, I just I do thank everybody for their support, for your prayers, you know, for the love and um Thank you, you know, for rocking with me. Like I said, I'm not I'm not seeking anything. If this goes viral, it do. If it don't, then you know, I'm happy nonetheless. You know. Um Yeah, I do want, you know, my message is to be spread. I want, you know, my experiences to be spread because we need to change. I need to change. You know, and I'm not, um, I never want to like leave myself out and make it seem like I'm better than somebody. No, me too. Me too. I have a lot of stuff that I need to work on as well. You know, um, but that's the good thing recognizing what you need to work on and trying to be a better person, you know, trying to live life according you know to the most high statutes and commandments you know and we can't do everything you know we can't do everything like i can't go to jerusalem and i ain't got no cattle and stuff like that but that don't mean i'm about to be sitting up here giving my money to no church either because that's not what that is i would rather give to the poor i would rather give to the homeless i ain't giving a passport job sorry Especially, my views are different now. Like, mm -mm. if you a bishop, but you don't know that Israel was black, Christ is black, the Most High is black, you ain't getting no money from me, honey. Nothing. Nothing but these lessons. Because you need to hear it. I ain't no bishop, I ain't no pastor, I ain't no preacher. I am a teacher, you know, but, you know, and I'm my own therapist, I'm my own cheerleader, like I said, you know, I've tried therapy, but it just didn't work out for me, this actually is more therapeutic than therapy, so,
legendary Malcolm X Boulevard icon. Malcolm X was an icon. This is the Malcolm X Boulevard. We on Linux and Malcolm X. 